Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. Texas megachurch pastor Robert Morris Lawyers tried to blame the 12-year-old girl who accused him of assault for the sexual abuse, legal documents have claimed. Morris, 62 the founder and senior pastor of Gateway Church in Southlake, one of the largest megachurches in the country, has been accused of sexually abusing former family friend Cindy Clemeshire in the 1980s, when she was just 12 years old. The former spiritual advisor to Donald Trump resigned from the megachurch after admitting to abusing Clemeshire, who went public last month with her allegations in a blog post on the Wartbug Watch, a website dedicated to exposing abuse in churches. Correspondence obtained by NBC News shows 25 years after the alleged abuse when Clemeshire hired an attorney and threatened to sue Morris, his lawyer responded by blaming the 12-year-old for what happened. It was your client who initiated inappropriate behavior by coming into my client's bedroom and getting in bed with him, which my client should not have allowed to happen, Morris lawyer J. Shelby Sharp wrote in a February 6, 2007 response. The letter was one in a series of exchanges that year between Sharp and Clemeshire's lawyer Gentner Drummond from when she was seeking $50,000 in restitution to cover the cost of counseling. Morris countered with an offer of $25,000, but negotiations stopped because Clemeshire was not willing to sign a non-disclosure agreement, NBC News reported. Clemeshire alleged that Morris' abuse began when he stayed at her family home in Tulsa on Christmas 1982. She described a scene in which Morris asked her to come to his room and speak with him, asking her to lay on his bed. Morris began to touch her inappropriately with Clemeshire alleging he touched her stomach, then her breast and then under her pants. She added that after the alleged abuse occurred, Morris told me I could never tell anyone, because it would ruin everything, and that he would continue to isolate her and abuse her for the next four and a half years before she finally spoke out. Over two decades later January 30, 2007, Drummond wrote to Sharp on behalf of Clemeshire detailing the sexual abuse and how Morris led her to believe that they were having a special relationship that had to remain secret. Reverend Morris began sexually assaulting, Clemeshire, who was then 12 years old, Drummond wrote. Sharp responded a week later claiming Clemeshire initiated sexual contact with Morris. When contacted by NBC News, Sharp denied knowing at the time that Clemeshire had been a child when Morris began engaging in sexual behavior with her, despite Drummond's initial correspondence specifically stating she was 12 years old. I don't ever remember seeing that, Sharp said. I can tell you that the letters that you've seen, they speak for themselves. I will not amplify beyond those letters, because they speak for themselves.